Yo, what's up? Welcome to every boss in Cult of the Lamb ranked from easiest to hardest. This game isn't exactly hard, the combat is nothing special, so most bosses can get surprising places. Most fights are the same, so let's get it. Number 1, Amdusias. The first boss is actually the easiest, just a buffed version of an enemy you've already beaten countless times until there. He's nothing to break a sweat about, just like the majority of kids around. He tries biting you and occasionally shoots acid, nothing to get his parents proud. Number 2, Baal. You would think the number 2 guards of the one who waits would be a challenge, but nah. They're hella weak. He occasionally swings his weapon, but you can dodge. Something you still haven't had enough of doing in this game. Number 3, I am. The other kid comes right after. He's slightly harder because you have to move some more, but nothing to get their mom proud of them. Get them out before beating your dad. Number 4, Raksash. This is the secret boss of the game, which you can fight after beating his snail. He's fast, so you gotta take that accountable when fighting him, but that's all about him. Beat him and get the advantage after a while. Number 5, Barbatos. Barbatos just like basically every boss is a buffed normal enemy. He crawls under the ground leaving spikes around. And you can deal with that, then you can move around free. Number 6, Valafar. Valafar is a little stronger because he has more moves, like jumping around and shooting balls. That makes him harder but not hard enough to break my monitor. The hardest part is not killing every single one of your cult members. Just me. Number 7, Witness Agares. Witnesses appear after you beat the bishop of the arena, so then you can fight these things. For the most part, they're just annoying since they go out and you gotta deal with the little enemies. This boss literally just charges at you and then you gotta deal with some slaves. Just another day. Number 8, Zep. We still haven't gotten every single boss from the Dark Woods, but this one is even weaker. So he goes first. He only jumps around summoning more frogs. If there's too many frogs around the place, that can be a problem, but you'll have already beaten the big frog before that becomes true. Number 9, Witness Batten. While this witness does more than the previous one, it's still nothing to brag about to the other witnesses. He shoots bombs around others, then charges against you, but you still gotta deal with the small fry, which are usually harder to deal with than the actual witness himself. Number 10, Gushian. Gushian also throws kids around the place and he shoots balls at you, and other than that you don't need to worry, you can just kill him quickly. Nothing special, brother. Number 11, Vefar. Vefar is from the last zone of the game, but he's trash. Obviously there's stuff going around, he spawns spikes whenever you're close to him, but you still hit him twice then back up and repeat like the entirety of the game. The problem are the other things around the ring and the poison he sometimes spits around the place. But you can do it, bro. Number 12, Eligos. Eligos not only summons little fries that are a problem, but he also charges across the map while shooting balls. This guy actually can make the master proud, at least compared to what we've been seeing around here. That's not really hard, congratulations for him, but you can still do the job. Number 13, Balzabub. This guy is more annoying because he shoots a bunch, then you can have some patterns hard to dodge. But I trust you, then you can beat him all you want. And he doesn't even summon slaves to help, so you're Gucci. Number 14, The One Who Waits. The One Who Waits is not that dangerous to defeat that you will need to reboot the console. There's two stages, for the most part you do the same, dodge balls and then hit. First stage he has a mix of his bodyguard's powers and second stage you destroy his eyes until you can destroy his face. The battle looks cool but it's nothing to scare our invisible lamb. Number 15, Haborim. Interesting how this kid can be harder than the one who waits. He shoots stuff around and summons slaves. For the most part he summons bombs so you can quickly get rid of them. Just watch out so you don't explode yourself and you're good to go. Number 16, Focalora. This spider spawns other spiders around the place, but for the most part he behaves like the weakest spiders around, charging against you and sometimes jumping over you. But you can dodge, don't forget about that. Then you gotta deal with some small spiders, but you've already done this through the whole game. Number 17, Horas. This boss gets some crazy patterns of balls around the map. This is crazy because sometimes it will be hard to dodge, but it still looks cool. So can you really blame the man? Other than that, it's easy, you can do it the exact same thing you've been doing and there you go, easy game, easy life. Number 18, Witness Astaroth. The reason this thing gets a higher place is because he can shoot balls and summon things around the field. It happened that he was throwing balls while I had to deal with the small fry, so this guy can be a problem sometimes. 
make sure to deal with everyone fast. Number 19, Witness Alocer. This is the strongest witness and the one who mixes his resources the best. He can make some really cool patterns with his balls, that's a great way of living life, compared to the other witnesses who did nothing that great. Number 20, Salios. Salios shouldn't be this high on the list, but he's annoying. I have a hard time with spikes for some reason. He also leaves little Salios creatures around the map, so you gotta dodge them all. Then he summons spikes on the ground, so deal with that. Number 21, Leshy. Here we go, the first bishop managed to hold himself until now. He's actually an interesting enemy and does some stuff annoying to deal with, like going around summoning kids and jumping around spawning spikes. Urgh. So good luck getting a taste on beating bishops. Number 22, Heketo. Heketo uses the whole frog theme moves, spawning under little frogs using his tongue to hit you, which sometimes gets me because I think slow. But you should be able to dodge everything this guy does, without the same hard times as me. Number 23, Shamura. Shamura is annoying because he goes around trying to hit you, while there's more spiders doing all kinds of things. Then he starts firing bombs, which is really annoying to be honest. But after you've sacrificed a kid to come back to life, you get an easy win. Number 24, Kalamar. The hardest boss is Kalamar, actually the first death of both my playthroughs. Really sucks to die here. He's cool as design goes and he has balls and a sword. Then a small knife. Quite funny to freak around and find out what can mean that he's going to attack you. So good luck on your journey. That's gonna do it for this video, let me know what you think, if you disagree with anything and where you would place these bosses. See you around.